बहुत सारे एफर्ट्स करने की जरूरत है लेकिन वो एफर्ट्स तब फलीभूत होते हैं जब देवी देवताओं का आशीर्वाद होता है भारतीय करेंसी के ऊपर एक तरफ गांधी जी की तस्वीर है वो वैसे ही रहनी चाहिए लेकिन दूसरी तरफ श्री गणेश जी की और श्री लक्ष्मी जी की तस्वीर भारतीय करेंसी के ऊपर लगाई जाए हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू टॉपिक ऑफ द डे इन टूडेज वीडियो वी शाल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हिंदू गॉड्स ऑन करेंसी नोट्स or the role of RBI in currency management so recently this topic came up in news as the delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal remarked that images of goddess lakshmi and lord ganesha should be on currency notes for the prosperity of the country let us discuss about the role of RBI in management of bank notes first of all in terms of section 22 of the RBI act 1934 the reserve bank has the sole right to issue bank notes in india Section 25 states that the design form and material of the bank notes shall be such as may be approved by the central government after consideration of the recommendations made by the central board of RBI all bank notes issued by the RBI are backed by assets such as gold government securities and foreign currency assets as defined in the section 33 of RBI act 1934 Now if we talk about the role of RBI in management of coins the government of India is responsible for the designing and minting of coins in various denominations as per the Coinage Act 2011 the role of RBI is limited to distribution of coins that are supplied by the government of India now let us talk about where are the banknotes and coins produced or minted banknotes are printed at four currency presses Now two of these are owned by the center through its corporation Security Printing and Minting Corporation of India these are located at Nashik in western India and Devas in central India now the other two are owned by the RBI through its wholly owned subsidiary the Bharatiya Reserve Bank Note Mudran Private Limited these are located at Mysuru that is in southern India and Salvoni that is in eastern India Now coins are minted in four mints owned by the SPMCIL that is the Security Printing and Minting Corporation of India Limited in Mumbai Hyderabad Kolkata and Noida Now let us talk about the four types of bank notes issued since independence First the Ashoka Pillar bank notes the first bank note issued by the independent India was rupee 1 note in 1949 while retaining the same designs The new banknotes were issued with the symbol of the lion capital of Ashoka pillar at Sarnath in the watermark window in place of the portrait of King George. In October 1987, rupees 500 banknote was introduced with the portrait of Mahatma Gandhi and the Ashoka pillar watermark. Second, Mahatma Gandhi series 1996. These banknotes contain the Mahatma Gandhi watermark as well as Mahatma Gandhi's portrait. The symbol of the lion capital of Ashoka pillar was shifted to the left side next to the watermark window now the third one was the mahatma gandhi series that is 2005 banknotes these banknotes were issued in the denomination of rupees 10 rupees 20 rupees 50 rupees 100 and rupees 500 and rupees 1000 and contained some additional new security features as compared to the 1996 mahatma gandhi series the legal tender of banknotes of rupees 500 and rupees 1000 of this series was withdrawn with effect from the midnight of november 8 2016 now this mahatma gandhi series was introduced in 2016 the first banknote from the new series was introduced on the 8th of november 2016 and is a new denomination rupees 2000 with the theme of mangalyan subsequently banknotes of this series in denominations of rupees 500 Rupees two hundred, rupees hundred, rupees fifty, twenty, and rupees ten have been introduced. Now a question arises: What happens to the old design banknotes when a new design is introduced? Both old and new design notes usually circulate together for a while. The old design notes are then gradually withdrawn from circulation when they become unfit to be reissued. So this was a little bit about the topic. Now let us take up one practice question on the same. Consider the following statements relating to the management of coins. First, the government of India is responsible for designing and minting of coins in various denominations as per the Coinage Act 2011. Second, the role of Reserve Bank of India is limited to distribution of coins that are supplied by the government of India. Now, which of the statements given above are correct? You can take a moment and write your answers in the comment section below.
So as we know, both of the statements are correct with respect to the management of coins. Therefore, the correct answer is option C, that is both 1 and 2. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you liked the video. You can also check out the Daily Current Affairs section on our website for more details. And for more such videos, do stay tuned to the next IAS YouTube channel.